You don't have to spend a lot of money to enjoy a lot of life. Guess, what is something you've always wanted to do with your money, but you just haven't done just yet? What's on your bucket list? to do with your money? Let me know in the comments below. Now guys, on this channel, I talk a lot about how to manage your money. But on this video, I wanted to talk about the one thing that you should never forget to do with your money. And that is to have more fun with your money, starting right now. Now on this video, I'm gonna give you five things that you need to start doing with your money today while you're living and can enjoy your money. Yes, I want you to be investing your money. Yes, I want you to be paying down debt. Yes, I want you to be properly managing your money and helping other people. I want you to do all that with your money. But also remember, your people too. Now I call this the 3% rule, which basically is this guys, no matter what's going on, as long as you have a roof over your head, you have food to eat, you have access to transportation, you have a steady income, you have your emergency money, you're helping other people with your money, and you're investing in your future, you need to be putting aside 3% of all the money that you bring in for you. So if you bring in $2,000 every two weeks, you need to be setting aside $60 of that for you. Write it into your budget. When you're making your monthly unique budget, write in what that amount is and put it aside for yourself, right? If you bring home $10,000 a month, that should be $300 for you. And remember, it's from your take home pay. What do you bring home? Right, so if you just bring home $1,000 a week, that's 30 bucks for you to spend on taking good care of you. So that's the 3% rule, that's what it says. Tomorrow's not promised, spend 3% of your money taking care of yourself. Now, let's jump into these five things to do with that 3% right now. Guys, the first thing is this, go explore the world. Save up your 3% every time you get paid or once a month and Feel free to take an inexpensive vacation. Go places, experience new things, and explore. And you can do all that in an inexpensive way, right? Don't wait until you're too old to enjoy the places that you want to go to, right? If you're watching this video, chances are you've been working for 20, 30, 40 years. And so feel free to go out there and see what's out there. But do it on a budget. Hey, we're living in a time, guys, when you don't have to just see things on the internet or see things on TV. You can go and visit them. The world is smaller. So you can go experience that place for yourself. Of course, you want to plan for it, put money aside for it on a regular basis and save up for it, right? By using the 3% that you're going to pay to have some fun, use that to actually save up for it and take that vacation. Take that trip that you can afford on a budget. Guys, if you get value from this video, please smash the like button below. And please consider subscribing to this channel if you're not already a subscriber. And also, don't forget to share this video with your friends and your family. Now, number two is this. Spend some of that 3% of your money on some of the smaller pleasures of life that are for your own self-care. You don't have to always save up for a big ticket item. Sometimes, just save up for something small that you can do and spend your money on. Hey, there's a lot of fun things you can do with 3% of the money that you bring in. Some of the absolute best things in life, guys, are outside and free. So invest in yourself, in your own self-care. I mean, play a game with yourself to see how much fun you can have for free or how much fun you can have for as little money as possible. Whether it's taking the walks in the park, going to listen to some free live music, right? Dancing and moving your body, whatever it may be, guys. It may be drawing and painting and sculpting, whatever it can be. Something you can do inexpensively for your own self-care is really important. You can probably do it in an inexpensive way. And if you can't, look for inexpensive ways that you can actually do those things. You don't have to break the bank to really enjoy some relaxing self-care. But that's all about the simple pleasures of life. Save up that 3% and use it for your own self-care. Speaking of which, number three. Number three is get active. Get focused on your health. Use that 3% to do something that involves taking better care of your health, your physical health. Look, staying active can help you sleep better. Staying active and using that 3% to do something to stay physically fit, it's gonna help reduce your weight. It's gonna help you also reduce the risk of certain diseases and ailments, right? Look for a gym, look for some YouTube channels where you can work out right there in your home. You might take some morning walks or afternoon walks in the sun, outdoors, right? Also, you wanna maybe prioritize nutrition, what you eat, right? 
A lot of different things you can do to take care of your body, guys, physically. But you want to take that 3% rule and apply it towards your physical health. Don't wait until you retire or 10 years from now to say, hey, I want to get in better shape. No, get in better shape today. Right again, join the gym, drink more water, take those swim classes, join those Zumba classes where you can move constantly, those dance classes. In order to enjoy your money 20, 30, 40 years from now, you want to be in pretty good health. So why not start that right now? To be completely honest with you guys, it costs no money to stand up and walk in place, to do some jumping jacks, to do some squats, to do some push-ups, to do some sit-ups and some leg raises that'll work on your core. It's free, that is free. It's gonna cost you a little bit of money to eat a little bit better, but you can always eat less. Eat the right types of foods. Change your eating habits right now so that you can enjoy yourself and your money down the road. Because how you take care of yourself today affects how you feel tomorrow. The best person who's going to take care of the old you is the young you who's taking care of your body today. Now, number four is this. Get social, be social, meet new people, meet new friends, right? You don't have to wait until you retire to say, I'm going to have some new fun with new people and meet new people. You can experience new social settings right now. Smile more, laugh more, talk more, interact with more people on a regular basis. When you're sitting at home, not talking to anybody, guess what guys? That wears on you. You want to get out and have some fun. Take that 3% of your money and find a way to get out to meet some new people. Now, hey, I'm not saying go blow it all on being a party animal, but listen, guess what? If you want to be a party animal with 3% of your money, feel free to. Have fun with it. Now, number five is this, guys. Start whatever hobby, whatever thing you always wanted to do or you enjoy doing and having fun doing, start doing more of it with 3% of your money. Start doing it more often. The thing that you've sort of put off until later because you say, I just don't have the time and I just don't have the money. Take 3% of all the money that you bring into your household and use it for that hobby or for that pastime or for that thing that you really enjoy doing and that you really love to do. Spend some time doing it right now while you're alive and while you can enjoy it. Stop waiting to do that hobby until after you retire or 10 years down the road. The future is not promised to any of us. So you might as well take advantage of the time that you have right now, right? Whatever that thing is, that creative thing you wanna do, that creative art, there's no better time than today. That's making good use of your money. Now again, guys, if you've got everything done, you're putting money towards your 401k and you're investing money, right? You have money to put a roof over your head, clothes on your back, transportation. You're giving your money away and helping other people. You don't have a whole bunch of debt, but you do have some discretionary income. You've got to put 3% aside for you to enjoy. So never forget to do this for you, the 3% rule. So there you have it. Guys, when you explore the world by taking inexpensive trips, when you do that hobby that you've always wanted to do, and when you take better care of your health and learn to do some self-care on a budget, and you become a little more social and use some of that money to actually go meet new people and have new experiences, then you're having more fun with your money. But never forget the 3% rule. Spend a small portion of your money taking good care of yourself. And hey, keep this in mind, guys. You don't have to spend a lot of money to enjoy a lot of life. Now, hey, it's not too late for you to have that fun, enjoy your money, and even grow your wealth, and maybe even become a millionaire in the process. If becoming a millionaire is on your bucket list as you get older, let me explain to you how I did it, how I made my first million, and you can copy my plan. If you wanna see what my plan is and what you can take from my plan to add into your plan, you need to click this video right here, right now. Peace.